Buona sera, and good evening everybody, Man with a Plan here. Welcome back everybody to the amazing long dark on the Xbox One. Super pumped today, so super pumped that I'm actually recording this directly after the last episode that you guys have seen. So hopefully there won't be huge delay. Ooh, I'm hungry. Oh, I'm hungry. That's cool. Oh, look. Oh, you made me some more homemade soup. Thank you very much, the Grey Mother Lady. This is very kind of you. As we uh, ended the last episode, we actually came across two dead wolves. So let's check out some wolf meat. Fresh wolf meat. 160 calories, really? Oh, wait. Only 0 0.21 of a kilo. Well, that's going to be nothing. Nothing at all. Let's get a bigger bit. <coughs> Wait, new chocolate bar? No. Fresh cooked wolf. There we are. A kilo, 770 calories for a kilo. That's pretty good. That's some good wolf eats there. Beautiful stuff. Um, we'll need a little bit of water. We're going to save that soup that she's made us. We're going to need more water. Thankfully, with her permafire, we can melt snow to no belief without a problem. Lovely. Much, much nicer. I'm still a little bit tired this morning, and it's actually a bit late in the day because I stayed up super late last night. Oh. Oh, oh, I'm on the chair. <laughs> oh, I'm on the chair. Hey, I'm sitting on the chair. Ooh, I'm standing on the chair. Ooh, there we go. Stayed up super late last night, going through all of our stuff, making sure everything was put away. We got some coal that we found over there. We got an extra axe in the distance over there. We found some arrowheads. We found more flare shells. We found... Oh, man, we, we found everything. We found absolutely everything. But one thing I was interested in was these new gloves. And they actually do work out pretty well. I've repaired both that one and the new fleece mittens um, to 100%. And these are actually twice as warm with an extra 4% protection. Um, they're a little bit heavier and they are useless when they're wet. But for the extra one half a degree and the 3% protection, I'm happy with that. That's not going to be a huge problem. So these guys, I'm going to harvest them. Just because I like to harvest everything for more materials to fix everything that I'm using when it does break. But we need cured leather to fix these guys. Uh, also gone across, fixed my boots, fixed all of my clothing. So that's all ready to rock and roll and taken care of. Let's come over here to our cloth pile. And poop out a piece of cloth. Burp, there we go. Another piece of cloth. Our rabbit stuff. Two of them are only at 25%. And the other ones are at like 70 something. Oh, 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 I saw it there, 99. Yeah, the other two are at 99. We've got some wolf skins now. They're at 11%. Don't know what we're going to be using them for, but I'm super pumped to find out. But what I'm more interested in is with what this lady said at the end of the last episode. Let's have a look here. Uh, rather here, even. Uh, something precious was stolen from Grey Mother. Find it and return it to her. Search the Milton farmhouse for the safety deposit box key. Retrieve the contents of the safety deposit box and return it to the Grey Mother. Now, I thought that we did this at the end of the last episode. If I go to... is it here? Collectibles. Bank managers. Bank deposit. Farm key. Lockbox key. Ah, we got a lockbox key, but not a safety deposit box key. Ooh, so we're going to have to go back there and search it again for some amazing things. Are we ready? Uh, still a little bit tired, but I'm not going to be going to sleep through the day and wasting the day. Let's go. Ah. Uh, not the nicest of days out here today. Not the nicest of days. I see the wolf that randomly got trapped has disappeared this morning which is okay we have a crow feather on the floor though i love collecting these crow feathers i can't wait until there's actually something that we can do for it oh and i think did i have the brains to keep that snare i did did have the brains to keep that snare place and actions now i've seen some rabbits hanging around over here Oh no, wolf galore. Nope, 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 nope. Let's just hightail it up and get over to this farm place. Okay, here we are back at the farm. Plenty of wolfies over there. Now, over in that building over there is where we found the workbench in the last episode. Now, that's also where we found the woman's corpse that had the l deposit key. Um, not the safety deposit key, but the supply cache key that was inside this place, I think it was. I can't remember what it was called now. But apparently that's not the key that we were looking for. Apparently there's another key over here that is used to access one of the bank's safety deposit boxes. So let's try and hustle our way over here. I'm trying not to burn all of the calories that I've got because I am 
already about 50% tired. So we don't really want to burn all of our energy super fast. Was that a wolf? No, it was a letterbox. That's fine. That's fine. Oh wait, no, it was here, wasn't it? Yeah, in here, sorry. This is where we found the workstation and the lady's corpse. We can check it again, I suppose. Ah, yes, here's the little workbench place. Oh, there is actually a fire barrel here as well. That's handy to know. This was the woman. Yep, we've already, she's still empty. We've searched her. Okay, so let's hop into here. Now, normally this place is locked, but the key for it is inside that truck with the open bonnet there, because we went and found that. Lady said the key was here somewhere. Right, because we have already lo checked around this place and we didn't find no key. I'm wondering if this is going to be similar to the supply cache that we were looking for in the last place, and maybe it's going to be stashed somewhere again. So we're going to have to have a real good look around. Let's see what we can find here. It is that tiny bit dark. Um, as always, I'll try and lighten it for you guys in the editing as best that I can without blurring out the colors too much. Um, but we'll have to have a good freaking look around here. I'm wondering if it's going to be like behind books or something like that. I mean, it could be freaking anywhere. Chair? Requires a hacksaw. Yeah, that's the lockbox. That's the one that we actually found and checked. That's just got a newspaper in it, I think. Yeah, just a newspaper. All of this we've looked at, so it doesn't look like anything in particular has kind of been reset or changed. Everything's been placed as it was. Hmm. Uh, newspaper in there, I think. Yeah, that was right. Oh. I don't think we came in this room, though. There's another lantern over there. No, we didn't come in this room. What is this? Some wood matches? I have loads of them. Give me some more. Search urn. Ha 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 ha. Would you look at that? Well, much faster to find it on myself this time. Much, much easier. The uh, Notice the hitbox a mile away. We can have a look. What's this? Wool socks? Nah. What have we here? Nah. Worn dress shirt. Simple cotton button-down shirt you'd wear going to a boring office ship. Good thing computers don't seem to work anymore. No, man, because that means there'd be no YouTube. Such briefcase. What's in the briefcase? A newspaper? No. Painkillers? I have so many of them. Nope. Now, one thing I was wanting to check, actually, was the settings. Wool mittens? Come in handy. Wool mitts with a reinforced palm. I'll take those and examine them in comparison to the things that I am wearing at the moment. After a wee repair, we could be able to tell what they look like. Um, yeah, as I was going to say, in the last episode, we got attacked by a wolf twice. Ooh. Now, these are the same boots that we're wearing, I think. Um, and even though it said afflictions had came up, no afflictions actually seem to be attached to my character. So, not entirely sure what's going on there. I haven't actually looked. Ooh. Winter jacket, synthetic materials, windproof but not well insulated. That could also be useful. Sorry, I keep getting distracted, but I haven't actually looked at the actual game settings for us at the moment. I don't know if it's in here. Display audio controls and autosave, no. Um, I haven't actually checked that on the main menu settings, but I haven't changed any settings since the update, so it shouldn't really have made any difference to us whatsoever. Give me that lantern. I think I can use this. I don't know if I want to take two lanterns, or rather, rather then I've got one I can use and then ditch it. Probably makes most sense. What else have you got? Nothing in there. Nothing in any of this. A nice bed. Anything hiding under the bed? Appears not to be. Okay, well, except for an insane amount of books, I can't see anything else of any particular interest to us here. No, I think we're good. I think we are good. Okay. Now, I know the rest of the house I've already searched, so I'm happy that there was just the one room that I missed. Wait, maybe I missed another room. 
Let's have a quick check. I've already searched all of the kitchen. I remember all of this because I literally just did it. That's why I wanted to come back here and make the second episode now because I've already been in here and I remember. I'll remember now because I've just done it. Oh, wait. Oh, cloth. I thought that actually was a scarf that I could have used. Nevertheless, okay. Let's take a look. Ah, at least the weather seems to have settled down a little bit for us. That's nice. We're half tempted. Do you think this would be a good place to check, put a snare down? But we need to check on it regularly. I don't think we're going to be regularly all the way down here quite often. So I'm going to head my way back. We're going to get up to the bank now. And we've got to see what is inside the safety deposit box with this key. Okay. Now, where was the bank? I think it was the one on the corner on the right here, I think. Is that one on the end past the stop sign? That's the post office. Or, oh, no, no, sorry, begging pardon, it was this one. Was it this one? Credit Union, yeah, that's it. Keep an eye out for any freaking wolves, because there's plenty of them around here as well. What is that? Oh, that's the rabbits that I dropped, because I finished skinning them. Oh, I know, I know, I'm sleepy. Wait a minute, I'm sure we took this last time. Hmm, strange. There's a strange floating thing. There's a ghost. Oh no, it's an it's a, it's a air particle. Yeah. It's particles of snow, I am assuming, is the effect that it's supposed to be. It's a bit scary. Okay, right, so here we are at the bank. We've got to find the safety deposit box for this key. Um, which one was it? Fifteen, it was indeed. Okay, now we know this because we it was on... Well, I can't remember, it was like the second or third episode that we managed to open this vault. Super amazing, so now we want box number fifteen. Here we are. Grey Mother's Safety Deposit Box. A box containing the Grey Mother's stolen item. But nobody needs this anymore. Some tinder cash. Okay. So we're not going to look in the lady's freaking box. That sounds really wrong. We're not going to open the lady's box. We're going to take it back to her. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Now, I must admit, I'm very curious as to what the contents of this box have to do with where Astrid is, or what happened to her. Maybe it's going to give us a guide about how to get to the next area, where we believe she might have gone. Perhaps that's the thing. Did you find it? Here's the safety deposit box from the bank. I still don't understand. Shh! Give me the box. What's in the box? <gasps> you sent me to steal jewelry for you? You said this would help me find her. Have faith, outsider. It will. Do one last thing for me. And then I will tell you what you need to know. I'm finished with this. I'll find my own way out of here. Then you will die like the others. Just one more task for Grey Mother. Man who fell from the sky. And then you'll get the answers you need. Hmm. <laughs> hmm, indeed. Why do I feel like I'm being baited? What's your game, Grey Mother? Hmm? What is your game? Hmm, alright, what do you want? What's this last thing you need from me? Right or wrong from the past, Outsider. That's all I ask. How can I do that? Take these pearls to Lily. Lily? There's somebody else here? 
All this time I thought you were talking about my friend. Who's Lily? You'll find her at the graveyard. Oh. The graveyard? <laughs> Near the church, you would have passed it on your way into town. Why would you be... Why would she be waiting for me by the church? You aren't making any sense. Oh, come on, dude. She's dead. Don't you understand it? You'll find her there and your answers. Pearls? Why did you get me to steal these pearls from the bank? Not from the bank, from the farmer, Barker. The farmer is gone. So he left with the other cowards, then. No, he's dead. Looks like the wolves got him. <laughs> and so it ends. <laughs> okay. Okay. This better help me find my friend. Yes, rather curious, rather curious, although, standing on the chair, <laughs> standing on the chair, Ugh. although at the same time, at least it's giving my rabbit pelt some more time to cure, because I really want those mittens, man, I really do. Let's have a quick check out of our inventory, lighting everything up. Ah, there we are, little bit of a shut eye, little bit of a shut eye, add myself my herbal tea, I've got to remember to keep putting this back down on the floor, because I don't need to carry them with me, and um, I'm out of water now, I'm completely actually out of water, uh, still a little bit hungaroos, eat ourselves some wolfy food, and I'll have to boil up some water, using this amazing fire. One and a half liter to carry with us should be totally fine. So it's just turned the morning. I spent the evening double checking the clothing that we were carrying and fixing up what we had found. Um, I have half a liter that I'm going to leave unboiled here. That was a bit silly of me. There we are. <laughs> um, and made a couple of trade outs actually. Not a super huge deal, but I think it will be quite useful for us. But mostly you'll see my tiredness is completely refilled. So we had a super early night last night. And uh, everything is looking a little bit better in our energy situations. If I come over to here, um, that ski jacket that we found actually works out a little bit better than the last one that we had. And these mittens have the same heat and the same water prevention. Sorry, same heat, but with the water prevention of the other mittens that we had found, only again lost the damage. But they're also lighter, so I decided to go with those guys. Fixed up my boots, fixed up my clothing again. Everything's looking pretty awesome and amazing, and we're ready to go and investigate it. Now, it looks very dark outside, but my marker does tell me it's the morning, which is strange. So I'm going to have a little bit more to drink and another hour's sleep, because I don't want to be going out there in the dark, I think is a bad idea. <laughs> Oh wow, it is super early morning. Still the darkness of night is around us. Alright, amazing. So we are heading back up toward to the church that we came past and we went and visited there for the supply cache a little while ago as well um, to find out what's been going on here. To return these pearls to this lady and then the Grey Mother will tell us everything that we need to know. Now, I must admit, I did actually kind of notice a bit of an option, a bit of a gap that we had there in that dialogue, where Will said, no, forget it, I'm leap. Can I not, can I not walk over this piece of snow? How strange. Where Will kind of said, nope, that's it, forget it, I'm leaving, I'm going to find my own way. And we had to actually come back and select the Grey Mother again to continue the dialogue with her. So I'm guessing we could have just gone, no, forget it, I'm just going to leave and I'm going to wander the world aimlessly until I find my friend. But I feel a little bit safer doing it this way. And also, it's the story mode, man. We want to be following the story. I'm really enjoying this. We found a few interesting things already. We found out about that snare. Now, I haven't laid them because I don't know how much longer I'm going to be staying in this region. It sounds like we're going to be moving on soon. Yeah, I see you, Mr. Wolfie. Don't worry, I'm going this way. Don't you worry about a thing. Oh, it's just a rock. What are you guys so interested in? No no idea, there's nothing here. They are literally just dropping feathers. Fair enough. Alright, cool. So, we got to find this woman who, Will, stillly enough, is saying, Oh, why are they meeting me at the church? I'm pretty sure they live here in the graveyard, if you catch my drift. Let's see here. Ryan Smith? No, it was a lily. The woman's name was Lily. I have a feeling that... Tyler Clark? Okay, perhaps not. Oh, maybe it's not a gravestone then. Hmm, how interesting. How How is it getting darker? It's... it's 
morning. The day is arising. Let's have a quick check at what our quest log actually says to do. Find Lily's grave marker and place and pay service to her memory. Yeah, so I was I was correct. It was Lily's grave marker. Any of these got a marker on them? Just a Ryan Smith there. No. 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 Nothing marked on the back of them though. No, it doesn't appear to be. How difficult can it be to find a grave? Tyler Clark, definitely not that one. No, not this one either. Huh. How can this be so difficult? What does the map say? Oh, on the other side. Ah, oh, I see it. Yep, there's a whole graveyard over there. I thought this little graveyard around the church was was the graveyard. I don't think I've actually been over this side before. I don't think I've actually explored it. Perhaps this shall answer many a question for us. Yep, definitely a graveyard. Her, it was his daughter. Then why was this? Why was this? Wait, where is it? All the way over here. And the beads are gone. So why was this such a worry? 1969, 1985. Oh, wow. Oh, that, oh, that's super sad. Oh, brutal. So why was this such a worry that he had those pearls? Hmm, the plot seems to thicken. Is, is that actually it? We're just to return to the Grave Mother now? I believe it is. Uh, oh my good lord, it got super freaking foggy. Oh, we're falling down the hole. Alright, cool. So let's make our way back and see if, <laughs> see if we can find our way back in this fog. And, um... Yeah, see if she can shed some light on this situation and get us moving. That's probably the freakiest thing that I've seen in a while. Just like the silhouette of a wolf in the fog. Ooh, don't like it. I am just waiting for a wolf to come running at me through this fog. But it looks like we've made it back safe. Hopefully she can shed some light onto that situation. And Morley shed some light on my situation. Lily was your daughter. You have a good heart, Mackenzie. You see things others would miss. Ah. But the name, Lily Barker, related to the farmer? He said they were liars and cheats. The years have made me angry. Lily was my daughter. Our daughter. I am also a Barker. The farmer was my husband. Aha. Uh -huh. You lived apart. Yes. Our Lily died climbing. She wanted to summit all the peaks on Great Bear. She was young, already very talented. One day she went out alone. I said no, but he said yes. Let her go. She needs to face it alone. So she faced it alone. And fell. I never forgave him. And the pearls? They were my mother's. I gave them to Lily on her 16th birthday, the year she died. I wanted the pearls buried with her, 
but her father wanted to keep them to remember her. We fought bitterly and never spoke again. Losing a child is... Like losing your own life. But now, maybe you can save your friend. And Lily's death doesn't have to be for nothing. How? Take this key. Upstairs, in my Lily's old room, is a trunk with her old climbing things. Take the rope and the map. Follow Lily's path and you'll find the back way through the mountains. It's the only way to find the route to Perseverance Mills. I hope you find her. Aha! Thank you. What will you do? I'm content to sit here and think of my Lily resting with her favorite pearls. You've done a lot for me, Mackenzie. I won't forget about you. I... I'll try to come back. Or I'll send help for you. There's bound to be someone out there who can help. My journey is finished. But yours is only beginning. Go. Go and don't think of Grey Mother or Milton. We're of the old world now. The new world is for the strong to survive. <laughs> And I'm hungry. That is brutal. That is super, super sad. I had seen this picture a couple of times and thought maybe it was her when she was younger, but that's really harsh. I n I thought of it when I saw the um when I saw the dates on the grave as well. Oh, that's brutal. Died young and oh man, super, super horrible. I'm really sorry, Madame Grey Mother, but as expected. I now have way too much stuff to go climbing over a mountain with. There is no way I'm going to be able to cart all of this. Not a chance. Not a chance at all. So I'm going to have to spend some time picking and choosing what I can bring and why. Because I've been hoarding everything on this lady's floor. Well, you now have all the supplies you need to stay alive until I can bring you some help. That's definitely going to be a thing. There's boots here. New combat boots. Did I put these here? I don't remember putting these here. They look pretty awesome. I'm going to have to check them out. But firstly, let's go and have a quick look at this whole thing. One thing I will be doing, though, is I'll be staying here and waiting for these to cure. Yeah, because there's two more there that are halfway done. So we've got to wait for that to be done so we can turn them into the clothes that we want. In Lily's old room is a trunk. Ah, tired of mummy. Um, okay, I think I got the wrong room. That's the toilet. Oh man, crunchy stuff. All the stuff crammed in the storeroom. Here we go, trunk. Mountaineering rope. Heavy duty rope designed for climbing. Ragged Mackinac. Heavy wool jacket with it. <laughs> Dedic. Decidedly. Sorry, I couldn't read that word. So, decidedly Canadian flavour. Beloved by hunters and lumberjackers alike. Worn climbing socks. Reinforced expedition quality. And a map. Ooh, okay. Now that does look like quite an interesting challenge. Looks like that's the route that we're going to have to be going. That is the Orca gas station taking the opposite path, heading south over the mountaintops, following round the peaks. Then we've got a very, very, a very, very steep climb <laughs> by the looks of that, heading east from the south and then following through to a riverbed, it looks like. That's definitely going to be an amazingly interesting thing for us to get into. But, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have to go ahead and call it here. We looks like we finally have our next stages. 
Chapter 4, Paradise Lost. Oh man, there was chapters? I never even noticed. Never even noticed. We're in chapter 4, people. It's like a whole quarter. It's like a whole, a whole hole of four quarters. A four quarter chapter is making a whole hole. It's definitely going to be an amazing thing. I'm going to have to spend some time picking and choosing what of all of this equipment I want to bring with me and what I'm going to be leaving for our dear old grey mother friend. I'm also going to wait for these to cure up so that we can actually go and make those wool, wool, rabbit skin fleece mitten things that we know how to make. And yeah, loads of this stuff I'm going to be wanting to take with me. I'm going to take some time going through that and I cannot wait for the next episode where we get our next adventure on and see what else this game has to offer us. Thank you so, so much for coming to join me today again there, people. It's been an absolute pleasure having you. So much fun. Absolutely amazing exploring all of this place. And I cannot wait to be discovering some more of it. I'm thinking I'm going to make myself up some snares with all this reclaimed wood. Now I know how to do that. We're going to make ourselves those amazing mittens. I'm going to double check all of our gear. Keep a light load as well if we're going to be climbing. And see if we can survive the expedition. Can't wait for the next episode. Hope you're all going to be there too. Thanks ever so much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, do me a huge, huge favor and hit that like button. And if you're looking forward to more, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So you don't miss out on any uploads coming to the channel in the next few days. I greatly love you all, and as always, all the best, take care, and I can't wait to see you all again soon.